Hello guys, I am Ranjan Misra and today we are going to discuss telescope. In this video especially we will discuss astronomical telescope. Okay. As we know that telescope is an uh, optical instrument used to increase visual angle of distant large objects such as a star, planets, etc. Visual angle as you have discussed in a microscope that telescope and microscope both increases the visual angles. Right? Again I discuss here basics of visual angle if it is an object and here is I then angle made at I angle sustained the appropriate word is sustained let the height of object be H then angle sustained sustained at I is called visual angle the purpose of telescope is to increase this visual angle just increase ok for this we uh, define a term called magnifying power as we have discussed <coughs> in microscope section now in this topic we are going to discuss astronomical telescope astronomical astronomical telescope astronomical telescope basically have two convex lenses just like in a compound microscope it also have two convex lenses but difference is that that the first lens first convex lens is larger and second convex lens is smaller so let us draw the ray diagram first let uh, this is the first convex lens and this is the axis and uh, second lens is a smaller compared to the first lens ok as we know to draw the image first draw the image and then just redraw the circuit the ray diagram ok let uh, light passing like this it will go to this and extended point will be in this section ok let second light is passing through the focus this is the F naught this is basically objective because object is placed here and this is eyepiece because eye is in this side we have already discussed in compound microscope also light will go like this and the extended light will form image let it be here ok this is the a basic uh, ray diagram ok now let us make it as a theta and this is theta naught as we know that in telescope or in microscope we 
make first image in focal plane of second lens first image by the objective is always made in focal plane of eyepiece so it is the image formed in focal plane of eyepiece this distance is v and in general we take <coughs> as foc at the point of at a distance of f not okay and this distance is ue image uh, object distance for eyepiece okay now we can see here let it be h dash okay then uh, theta will be perpendicular upon base h dash upon ue and uh, theta naught theta naught will be h dash upon f naught it will be h dash upon f naught this is theta naught and this is theta okay now we know that the visual angle for defining magnifying power magnifying power basically we have to calculate magnifying power this is the purpose of this derivation we have to derive the magnifying power and we know that magnifying power is visual angle visual angle with instrument visual angle with instrument upon visual angle without instrument visual angle without instrument without instrument okay this is uh, theta this angle is theta and uh, this angle is theta naught okay now we can write mp equal to theta upon theta naught and theta is h dash upon ue and theta naught is h dash upon f naught okay <coughs> but ue is in uh, left side of uh, eyepiece so it is taken as negative it will be negative so mp comes out to be minus <coughs> f not upon ue this is the general result of magnifying power okay it is f not upon uv okay it is f not upon uv now it is visible so final we can write that mp equal to minus f not upon uv this is the final result now we have to derive magnifying for two cases for far point and for near point okay now we have derived the magnifying power f not uh, upon uv now let us discuss two cases first case when final image is formed at when final image is formed at infinity 
this case is called far point case far point in this case i will be relaxed in this case i will be relaxed okay that is a final image final image is formed by the ip so ve is minus infinite now we have the formula 1 upon ve minus of 1 upon uv it is minus and 1 upon fe as v is infinite it will be 1 upon infinite plus 1 uh, upon uve equal to 1 upon fe so ue is equal to fe and in this case in this case magnifying power becomes minus f not upon fe okay this is magnifying power for far point theek okay? hai now second case when final image is formed at least distance least distance of distinct vision distinct vision okay that is ve must be equal to minus t in this case i will be strained i will be strained at this case is called near point this case is called near point okay now we have the formula 1 upon ve minus 1 upon uv equal to 1 upon fe 1 upon ve ve is minus t minus 1 upon uv equal to 1 upon fe now 1 upon ue is equal to 1 upon d plus 1 upon fe magnifying power is f not upon uv this is 1 upon uv if i multiply f not in both side so f not upon uv then it becomes f not upon d plus f not upon fe now mp magnifying power is minus f not upon uv just take a minus sign and take f not upon fe as common so it becomes 1 plus fe upon d this is the final magnification let me write here mp equal to f not upon fe 1 plus fe upon d this is the final magnification in case of a near point okay this was the derivation of telescope astronomical telescope okay